Hi everyone, this is a, a quick guide to Mantix uh, carry cases it's, uh, in response to a query that came up, uh, I think on uh, one of the forums about um, Mantic bags and Mantic cases. Uh, just to show you what you get, if you order the Mantic cases from their website, uh, listed, they're listed as a, a Mantic white case small, uh, is this size. Uh, you can see inside, this is uh, it's basically it's the standard box that you get a Dreadball team in. Um, or some of the um, King's War and Warpath boxes come in the same size. I've got 16 miniatures in here, uh, including Buzzcut, who sort of takes up you know, space for one and a half. So you could probably get another one or two in there instead of Buzzcut. Uh, but it's big enough for um, a Dreadball team or uh, most of the um, what, uh, what was it called? Dead Zone starter kits, starter factions. Uh, next to it, I've got the slightly bigger case. The uh, the side the side dimensions are all the same, but it's deeper. Okay. So the small case uh, I think is listed as 25 mil. The big one I'm a bit confused because um, I ordered it at the Mantic Open Day, um, and just had a chat with one of the Pathfinders who was running the store, and he said, uh, you know, get the bigger ones, which is what I did. Um, the thing is, on the website, on the Mantic website, it says the big case is 48 mil, um, and this one is actually 40 mil. So um, yeah, trying to be um, you know illuminating, and um, I've possibly just confused the matter even more. So it might be worth checking with Mantic if you were going to order any of these uh, that they are the right size. Uh, but as you can see, I've got all my Marauder starters in there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, sort of troop size models and then two uh, uh, semi painted ripper suits in there as well. Uh, if I close it up, let's, uh, uh, let's give it a good press. If I close it up, you can see everything fits. Um, the problem with the bigger cases is you do need them for models with larger bases like a 40mm base or a 50mm base. Um, it can then leave some of your smaller models a bit loose. To rattle around in, uh, whereas the standard 25mm case just cuts, just shuts, and the models are held nice and firm. So, what I think I'm probably going to do is get some of these smaller cases to put my 25mm uh, bases in, and then keep the larger cases for the, the, the Dreadful Giants, uh, the Ripper Suits, the, you know, the big beasties. Um, I'll keep those in the bigger, the bigger cases. The other thing I want to show you is this and this is uh, Battle Foam's Mantic bag complete with authentic dirt uh, branded with Mantic on the front Got a nice little bag there you can stick your dice and you know, take measures if you're playing a game that uses them in there it's got a couple of little pockets on the side stick uh, more notebooks and whatever you fancy your sandwiches in there Comes with a little, a little carrying strap. It's got the thing on the thing on the top, the handle on the top, and it sort of unzips like so. So it opens up, and you can see two two cases of either side will fit nicely side by side. So you can get all your dead zone, red ball, whatever in there. So how many can we stack in there? So we can probably get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cases in there, but that's a mix of the big ones and the little ones uh, that are in there. So, yeah, you know, depends on how big the cases are that you're going to stick in your own bag. All right, that's it. Any questions, please feel free to ask him. See you again soon.